morning everybody. Um, here I am in my own kitchen at home and welcome to everybody in the King's community. Um, we're going to start to make, hopefully, um, so a series of little video clips which show you how to do some simple cooking at home um, with hopefully ingredients you have in the cupboard. So the first thing we're going to make is a sourdough starter. Now, Eventually, at the end of this week, we should have our sourdough starter ready, fingers crossed, okay, to actually make it into a sourdough loaf of bread. So, we need to start off by making our starter today, using some very simple ingredients. Now, as you know, to make things rise, that's Stanley who's trying to get into the kitchen now. Um, he's scratching at the door, but we'll ignore him. Okay, and let him in when I've finished. So... <laughs> First of all, we need to get things to rise, okay? And we either use chemical raising agents, such as bicarbonate soda or baking powder to make things rise, or we use biological uh, raising agents, such as yeast. And this is commercial yeast, okay, which is as rare as hen's teeth at the moment due to the fact you, everybody else has bought it up in the shops. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna use the commercial yeast or the chemical raising agents, we're going to create our own kind of magical raging, raising agent. So all we need for this is 25 grams of white flour, 25 grams, ideally wholemeal flour. I didn't have any wholemeal flour. I've got some flour which is kind of whole grain here with a few little grains in it. 25 grams of that as well. And 50 grams of water. Now, I knew this dinky little jug would come in handy sometime. But all you need to do is weigh, hopefully on some digital scales, you need 50 mils, it's actually 50 mils or 50 grams of water. Perfect, ideally spring water, I had to steal some of my husband's uh, very short supply of Pellegrino. Water, uh, not tap water. Tap water has chlorine in it, which isn't great for yeast production. So all we need to then is have a glass jar or a little plastic container and you put your flour, the 25 grams of white flour and the 25 grams of whole grain flour and added to that, in the dinky jug, the 50 grams or 50 mils of water. And all we do is we mix it together. So in here, in the flour and in the air around us, we have natural yeasts. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna cultivate those natural yeasts. So what we've got now is we've got this thick kind of paste, okay? Now, this now needs to sit in a warm place. Well, and because we've got lovely warm weather at the moment, we can actually just put it in the kitchen and we can either cover it with the lid loosely, okay? Or you can actually get a tea towel or something and just cover it like that. Because we want some of the natural yeast that are in the air to actually go, go on it, okay? Um, and that is gonna sit in the kitchen warm for 24 hours. And tomorrow I'll produce the next video clip, really short clip of how to actually uh, feed your sourdough and how hopefully we'll start to actually produce that natural yeast which will then turn into our sourdough later in the week. Now I'm going to let Stanley into the kitchen so he stops scratching the kitchen door. Where are you Stanley? There he is. Okay so Stanley and Merlot will be here with us every day hopefully behaving themselves. Sit. Right so that's goodbye from me here in the kitchen. Goodbye from Merla and goodbye from Stanley. See you tomorrow. Oh, bye, bye.